going to find out how accurate the totally accurate battle simulator is. Uh, Trump versus Hillary. She's, she's throwing emails. <laughs> What's going on, nerds? I am the Jaeger Bomb, and welcome to the Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. It's totally accurate. It's a battle simulator. It's where you get classes of warriors and soldiers and fighters to uh, go after each other and find out what would really happen in a totally accurate battle simulation. Hence the name. It's accurate. Totally accurate. It's a simulator that shows battle, and it's totally accurate. There's nothing inaccurate that you're about to see on this totally accurate battle simulator. So let's get ready to do some totally accurate battle. Strap in your seats, and let's go! Okay, so like many games, uh, it starts you out with the easiest uh, possibilities. Uh, these are peasants. Um, so really, I use two, two uh, things to fight. I use the farmer, which you'll see is very effective towards uh, easy stuff because, you know, it's got the uh, pitchfork. Very effective, you see? Now, in this next one, um, I'll show you my second choice, which is always the ninja, okay? Because ninjas are awesome anyways. They're they're very f effective in this game as well. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking solid, right? So those are my two main things that I use. Um, mainly because it's very fun. <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty fun. Uh, this is a really fun game. Um, it's, uh, like I said before, totally accurate. Um, Nothing inaccurate about this. Nothing at all. I like how they just kind of... They're like... Yeah! You know? Um, yeah. Ninjas... Ninjas can, can be used for almost any situation whatsoever. I mean, it's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> the, the spears are a little heavy. So, especially against spear people. Because, you know, ninjas can... They have the throwing stars, so... It's pretty easy. I, I didn't I didn't lose... It. I think I only lost one person on that one. That was crazy. <clears throat> so, you may be... Uh, you may be a little bit nervous because now there's catapults. Um, but, uh... You know, I have I have a lot of confidence. I have a lot of confidence in, uh, in my ninjas. Yeah. So here we go. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but there's only a limited amount of money that I have, and each uh, class of warrior costs something. Um, so you, you you can't just like put as many as you want. Um, not in this mode. There is a sandbox mode, which is very awesome. Oh, look, he's tripping over the rock over there. That's that's stupid. <clears throat> so yeah. Uh, there is a sandbox mode, which is really neat. Um, <laughs> you can go through and use all this, all the stuff. I mean, it's really, it's a, it's a, it's very large amount. Wow, what an idiot! Very large amount of uh, classes that you can choose. Um, and this is just the alpha. I mean, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna get better. Okay, so I I feel like we can still use ninjas. We just have to Make it different We got to start giving them formations see Because we we want to uh, split these guys up Looks like we're doing a good job. 
Yeah. Just as I just as I uh, suspected, we were doing a very good job. Ooh. Now we have bows and arrows. But that's alright, because I feel like the ninjas can handle that shit. I feel like. I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> oh boy. Oh boy. I, I still feel hopeful at this point. Um, hope is dwindling quickly though. Very quickly. Because of that rock. Come on, baby. Yeah, boy! Yeah! Okay, so here's where it gets a little difficult, because, um, this, this is a pretty long line of r riflemen. Riflemen. So, um, the cannons are a uh, pretty solid choice here. Pretty solid. I think. Um... And then, of course, you know, we'll just sprinkle some fucking ninjas in there. Because, why not? Here we go. I'm afraid, because I think they're gonna get blown the fuck away. Yeah, just as I, just as I had previously suspected. Wow. Okay, so that one's done. Of course, you know, they're a terrible aim because it's accurate. It's accurate. Cannons are not the most uh, reliable weapon, I guess. Um, wow, we're actually doing pretty well. Surprisingly. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah! Good job, cannons. <clears throat> okay. So it looks like we got some cannons. Uh, and some riflemen. So... Let's go ahead and uh, you know do a little tit for tat, a little bit of little bit of this for that, a little bit of quid pro quo as they say. Um, and then you know what? Let's just sprinkle some fucking ninjas in there. You know. <laughs> you may be thinking, "Gosh, you really like these ninjas," but you know what? I really do. <laughs> and maybe it's just because they're fucking ninjas, but, um, they are fucking ninjas, bruh. Wow. This is, this is just horrible. It's just terrible. Look at it. Yeah. So, you know, my... My strategy would have probably went, been to go for the uh, cannons first, um, but apparently that's not accurate enough. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, I like the sprinkle of cannons in there. Um, let's do some chariots, uh, simply for the fact that I need to go ham. Um, Yeah, and then of course, you know, ninjas. I mean, duh. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so there's our chariot. And he's just gonna go through there and just kinda wipe them out a little bit. Obviously, they still have the Christmas theme. <laughs> because, um... Yeah, so... I feel like, uh, I feel like that was pretty good. That was pretty good. And then of course I had mentioned that there's a sandbox mode, which we're gonna check out right now. Um, it's basically 
no money limitations, no amount of people limitations that you can put on there. Um, at the bottom right of the screen, you'll notice that it says uh, performance impact, uh, estimated performance impact. Uh, and that's, that's basically where your frame rate and everything like that is going to be, is going to be, uh, tested. Let's go to the Sahara. So, um, yeah, you got these guys for 20,000 and then, you know, you got these guys and, you know, giant chicken people and boxers, you know, you can just pit them, pit them against each other and just see how they'll do. Uh, which is fun. Oh, that was an instant red victory. Okay, so, oh shit. So, let's clear this out. We're gonna find out how accurate the totally accurate battle simulator is. Uh, Trump versus Hillary. I would build a great wall and nobody builds walls she's, she's throwing emails. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, so they're just gonna go at it. Oh, and it is completely accurate, uh, Trump won. Which is good, I guess. I mean, that it's completely accurate. So now I know that no matter what I do, I would I would be able to find out exactly who would win in a battle because it's totally accurate. Uh, so let's give Hillary Clinton some ninjas because I'm a big fan of the ninja. <laughs> I like uh, Trump's little uh, little phrases. Wow, Trump is getting he's getting fucked up right now. Oh, he grew. <laughs> he built a he built a wall. <laughs> That's great. Oh, oh, Hillary won. So, ladies and gentlemen, it turns out that all Hillary Clinton needed was ninjas to win the election. So go check this game out. It's the totally accurate battle simulator. It's really fun. Uh, it's made by the same people that made Cluster Truck. So uh, those guys are those guys are great. Um, landfall. Let me know what you think about uh, this video in the comment section below. And go ahead and check out the description because, you know, there's a lot of stuff down there. You know, you got my Facebook, my Twitter, uh, my game that you can download. So go check it out. And don't forget to join the Bomb Squad today. Go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, boom! Jaeger Bomb. See you next time. Go ahead and hit that, hit that subscribe. There's some videos there too if you want to watch some more videos. They're pretty good. Go ahead and check out my Facebook. There's some memes on there. They're pretty funny.